Hello everyone and welcome back to NO 1800 looking at our beautiful city there with the bank right now. The town hall is standing, the world fair well is on its way and the little balloon is floating around. Of course no airship yet but we might be getting an airship here now soon. Now let's get cracking with all the new things that we have to do. The first thing is that in the docklands, yes over here we have well unlocked a new good to the first level down here so that's the wall now with that we have a couple more uh, building modules available unfortunately um not only plus one for the expert office and pier and loading wharf right so not that much but still a bit a tiny tiny bit i might continue here with upgrading my next goods to the next level um, for that we do need a volume of a thousand so i do have the sales here for example and we could say yeah let's trade a thousand sales for a bit of fish right we don't need that many sales anymore more the age of sail ships is I almost over and with that um i do want to upgrade more so that we can build the maximum amount of uh, modules right now 1500 depot is being applied with docklands and we are at a loading speed of 450 percent but of course that's still not enough as we are trading huge volumes here right now now in the arctic the uh, next big step here is our beautiful airship monument and this one we can now finally well finish at least the roof let's go ahead and do this it's not completed yet but at least it is well coming together and let's start the last phase right away as we can see we do have everything in store the windows the steam motors and 50 sails at 10 minutes of our time and 400 technicians we have that to finally start this one here now i would like to check one thing really quickly steam motors we have 49 sales we have 44 and i think in crown falls we might be having a ship waiting here somewhere that i could use there it is one of my cargo ships right and did there just a ship go down i have no idea something just happened over there i have yeah, I guess there's a ship going down or something like that. Now we're going to send the skipjack over to the Arctic with more resources. Now the primary materials that we need is sails and steam motors. So let's just go ahead with a couple of them. I might also push us a few more bricks and steel beams to the Arctic as we're going to need that for our plateaus. And there it is for Cape Storm. I still really do like this name. By the way, lots of upgrades we can do as well. So let's continue with some more districts over here or some buildings well, that we can upgrade finally to juicy investors. Those guys here as well, just by the bank. And let's just have these guys here upgraded as well. We can see 180 influence. By the way, of course, I know, I know. We're totally able now to upgrade to skyscrapers. I'm still not doing that yet though because I know we're still lacking well the appropriate materials and that is a proper supply of chocolate that should be coming in now we're still losing our chocolate um well that we have so far uh because we're using that from the items but the trade rod is still not very active as far as i can see um we have actually two trade rods there one with the cigars and one now with the chocolate only run here it is it's actually coming into crown falls there right now full of chocolate perfect and let's just check at the same time let's just check with the two the chocolate storage that we have in vega and i think yep it's looking good we can now find the advice or assign a second ship to this one and do we have one in the new world that might be amazing unfortunately we don't so i need to get hydra Hydra is now on this trade route too. Two of them should be working fine. And we have, by the way, also this one here that was paused. And we can now reapply it. There you go. And this trade route, by the way, of course, is not waiting for goods to finish. Because that's crazy with only the chocolate that is coming in here in small bursts. There is also some nice items for the botanical garden and the museum that we can use. Let's get this one down here to the style, get the rest of the items. And we got a few ruins once more. Mm, a coffee plantation here in Cape Storm. We got a few smaller ruins there. Must be the sickness that is killing my people. Oh, and in Crown Falls, we do have some rides going on. So let's also get us a nice <laughs> police station close by. Oh, we already have one up there. So let's just assign one over your here. They're going to, well, sort it out with them. My jolly officers. 
Now, very important, the African expedition is coming along. The explosion scattered debris across the canal. An irresistible mystery. I'm just really clicking myself this time through that. We've already done it like two times. And yeah, basically, we are helping once again the crown. Go to the holy city, go to the savannah. Onwards to Mbeza. With that, let's go to... I think holy city sounds in more interesting than the savannah. And with that, we continue. So we still haven't reached Africa yet. Also, more ships are coming out of our shipyard once more. How very good. Under the pirate flag, of course, so nobody thinks it's ours. Uh, that is a beautiful airship of Old Need coming through. And let's just check my steam shipyard for the battleship. As we can see, we have it unlocked. Advanced weapons is something that is missing now. So we should be looking out for this new production. That is with uh, dynamites and everything that comes with that. Unfortunately, the item that we've installed is not giving us any advanced weapons at all. I was hoping that there is at least some coming in. Even one per minute would have been fine. It's not that. It's zero. Totally zero. So we do need to have our rendering works. So that's why um, I said actually we don't need to destroy all of the rendering works and we still have a couple of them available here. Um, that should be enough to have us a surplus. Perfect. So Tallow is looking fine. So Peter though is something that is not so fine. And this is something we need to import. How far are we away? There it is, Salt Peter, and we should be having something in store of that already. There it is, 200 tons are available. Let's actually push the bread to 150 tons here. We can afford that, and still we have as well. So basically we have everything for the heavy weapons factory. Um, the only thing we need is a dynamite factories. They are causing pollution though. And I don't want to drop my attraction there too much anymore. So one of them, there it is, the heavy weapons factory. And we are at the moment an appealing metropolis. That means as well groomed and presented as a prize cow. And I think these are very, well, very, very complimenting words about my city. And I do need to have them though. Let's just find us a hopefully remote location. Wait a second, I think we know here by the oil wells where it's already not so pretty let's get rid of the lumberjack hut here we don't need them anymore as we are getting the locks in any way from the docklands and then we have a bit of space here and yeah the ratio is one to one so i think two dynamite factories together with two um heavy weapon factories should do the trick oh actually let's make this one different let's have them here and then i can have my holy cow they're huge didn't remember this anymore that they're so huge get this one down there a bit that should be working out let's get the first uh, heavy weapons factory working and then also our uh, dynamite factory in fact i know a better location for it it also requires electricity and it just fits in here two of them perfectly fine into this um gap that i left between my well machine factories that we have the assembly lines for the tourists then and the skyscrapers and my fur dealers here campus. so this is just perfectly in the middle there between them working out nicely the first one is here it's getting its electricity and then we still need a dynamite factory so let's get cracking on this one and let's actually turn this one around a bit so that it fits to the street level. Where is it going? It's not going anywhere, is it? Perfect. There it is. It should be getting everything in. There it is. Perfect. Getting boosted by some electricity. I think the dynamite doesn't require... No, it's only improved by electricity, right? So it theoretically doesn't need that. One more. We can squeeze in in the back. So two of them is working. We could have potentially two of them now fully working. And this one is getting now the dynamites and the steel, of course. Now, let's get back while this one is now fully working and we can actually save up for our first uh, battleship. That's going to change quite a lot, I hope. Uh, we can finish the airship hangar. I'm ready for finalization. The hangar is completed. That's the hangar? Ah, oh, marvelous. Sir John will be the first to congratulate you when we... And she, of course, is euphoric about that. The only thing we need still for the airship is okay. gas. So let's get this gas from well Old Neat. There we also have, by the way, some steel beams still. Let's get them off. And Old Neat is waiting. Oh, he's not waiting. We have to pick up the cargo ourselves. And then we should be finding the, the gas here. There it is. Actually, 75 tons. He got, he got, got us 80 of them 80 tons perfect we can actually build two airships is that right we can build two airships with that oh princess ching has sunk one of our ships the chocolate trader is not or doesn't have a waypoint my total bad holy cow all right that goes to me that mistake 
So the chocolate here lost the ship now. And it was empty. That is the good thing about it. And we do have another one, though, rather close by. The walrus, right? And the walrus is having these items, though, that we're going to unload now in Tristau. So we do have a couple of them now. So when the time comes... Actually, we have very good items for all the types. Museum, zoo, and botanical garden. Even a legendary one. Perfect. Very good. The gas has arrived. And now we can build the first airship. And let's build a second one on top of that after it as well. It's also part of the quest that we have there still, right? So build the airship, the first airship. We still follow the main quest line of the Arctic. It's basically required. Um, and once we finish those airships, we can then finally also use these plateaus here in the Arctic for gas exploitations. This is just a very good one here that we're going to get ourselves there. Perfect. So that's one thing. So the Arctic, yeah, well... Development-wise, we are almost completed, so I can focus now a bit more on the Land of Lions expedition that was um, a bit neglected, perhaps. And, of course, we're coming closer now to Africa. Tales about a bound of a city, secret to all in this land. And we come afar to see the holy city. Let's offer them some bread um, so they will be friendly towards us. And perhaps he would have believed you were it not for the ostentatiously heathen jewelry sported uh, by some of your crew. Your crew, however, are not to be deterred. Tail the caravan or abandon your plan to see the holy city? No, of course not. We're tailing the caravan. Oh, come on. Bente, you too. There's more warships here now again. The heck? Going right into my war fleet there. No problem. Which ship did she destroy now? Off the new world. None, it seems. All of them are still intact. Oh, it was a heavy warship that was destroyed. All right, it's stuck there, I guess, in the cliffs. But no problem, as we still have enough ships, and they're now destroying this warship. As always, she is pretty annoying. Now, let's continue. And we traded to bribe them, and you have no choice but to board your vessel and leave, having seen little of what these islands, harsh and beautiful, have to offer. Or, oh, okay, it wasn't successful. I'm offering them a bull or something. Go to the Horn of Enbeza. This should really be the end now. I don't remember it being that long. Ah, we still, we still have to continue. Now, in the Arctic, we're getting those sicknesses here a few too many times for my taste. What is the reason behind it uh, for all of these guys here? They're chilly, right? So their heat levels are not perfectly up there. We do have an option between sleeping bags and parkas. Um, one of them we can make, the other one we can't. Um, the sleeping bag factory would be possible. We do need the goose farm and we do need the seal hunting docks. We don't have the fertility for the seal hunting in Cape Storms, nor do we have it in King William Island. So what I will need to do is I will need to settle on a new island. We're going to take some of those resources, um, probably all the building materials that we can find. Um, I don't think that it's going to be more than that, but we can check it, of course, what those seal hunting docks cost. Only a bit of timber, really. But let's make sure. And let's also get us a nice island for that. Here we would have one. Mm, and here we would have one. This one has the seal abundance. And this one doesn't. This one doesn't. This one does it. And this one also have a, has a gold deposit. So we could actually use the gold deposit on top of it. But it has a very small beach area. Is the beach area here bigger? No, not really. And it doesn't have two beaches, unfortunately. So let's go for the one up here further to the north. We also got some ice shelves here already. Perfect. We have reached the location. Let's build us a trade post in Vikyarek. Well, let's just keep it like that. Do we have workforce here? Unfortunately, we don't have workforce, which is just very bad overall. We do have the commute pier available. The problem with the commute pier is it does require beach areas, right? And once again, I can't do that because we do need it for our seal hunting dogs. Can I have at least some of them together? No, we can't, as they do absolutely require being stationed on the coastline. Boy, this is a bit, yeah, stupid. We only can have really, I think, up to three here. That's right. Three is the maximum amount of that. And what makes this whole thing even more complicated is the fact that um, we don't have a free, well, a workforce available on the islands themselves, like in the old world, for example, basic one. So I really do need to have a village that in return requires me to have heat there as well. As we can see in Cape Storm, we are already out of coal. Not a very good thing. Let's just check this one real quick why I'm out of coal. We only have one ship there really working. So let's um, assign us another one that I've just built. 
hopefully that we have oh we don't have any cargo ships anymore i will need to build a few more of them very important that we get the coal over there hmm i will need to have my charcoal burners here then that's the only solution to it so we're going to need a warehouse up here and for the production really or for my city i will unfortunately require we could have gas at this point gas heaters but unfortunately i don't have the required materials so it's only going to be the charcoal kiln which does require 10 well workers then again let's go ahead and build us those guys wait a second yep those seal hunters need the heating as well so let's just try to use the heater for both of them I push the people. No so i don't waste too much time and space let's have a warehouse here and this one here too and we don't actually need that vote them and then we're going to have a block of houses basically and the heater that should affect them all perfect that's it and this is our small cozy village here far up in the north and basically nothing going on here other than well seal hunting um how should we go about this and do we still have some timber left over we don't unfortunately so i will probably need to make a second turn i didn't bring enough timber with me and what we need to do essentially here is let's go ahead build us these two here right charcoal kiln for the 10 explorers and then we're going to build like the first a uh, few huts here so the workers start to work right so the charcoal kiln and as we can see it is now starting to work perfect that's still not enough though we need the heater and the other warehouse there as well to heat them all so let's just hope that this works and how much timber do we need for seal hunting dog five uh, i still will need a bit of timber ah, and very good we got the first airship with the banner of the cat flying high above the ground beautiful and with that we can finally continue now finding our husband which of course is our primary object here and not hmm, let's say finding gas deposits and using them oh yeah perfect he actually tells us what the matter is let's get us a bit more timber no we don't need that much though to that solitary island but which by the way is not working right those houses burned down kind of like did we at least get some coal very strange indeed the whole thing i do need a bit of coal over there otherwise i can't do anything all right meanwhile though we can use the airship now to get searching for the husband of course once the quest is over we can use this airship then for some proper trading right so it's got four slots available that we can use it is a bit expensive though but well income wise we shouldn't be too worried and look at the income percentages as we can see the investors are making up for like all of the income basically with 440 thousand five hundred forty thousand credits and the engineers is barely a hundred k by now insane and farmers only one thousand five hundred now finally we get also a tiny bit of coal in here now it's really all the coal we need look at that and he's getting that coal now because i think we didn't even get Your one ton of coal before the attack. buildings already got abandoned i guess one of my buildings is under attack i need to check this one of course it's one of those evil sisters that we have oh wait it's around the island we need to do this it's my pearl farms it was just a matter of time before they would do this and I don't think we have enough weapons here. We have 50 tons, but ah, oh, we actually have everything for a proper defense on this side here. So I should be going ahead. Unfortunately, I cannot do this while the ship is now here, right? Oh, I can. Go ahead and build us a proper defense here. So four of these cannon towers should be fine. A bit of timber doesn't hurt. And very good. There's also some cargo ships available this one and i might be also getting us a battle cruiser we can purchase them there it is it's going to do some good there right so let's get these over to tristau get us the timber that we need for the proper defense there my ships are on the way though in the meantime and they should do the trick as well Ship under attack. and as we can see those cannon towers are already shooting and a little bit later it's fleeing the scene perfect I don't even need my ships here. So a bit of scaring is all that really is required. There's also one that we might destroy while it's here. And fortunately, it's really not much more than that, though. And off it goes. Uh, it's not completely going off, but it should be golden. Perfect. Let's get back there. Um, meanwhile, let's actually go to the Arctic. Really, here it's where the business is going. Um, we do have a bit of coal now in. Let's build those buildings again. We do have a bit of timber, and let's just hope that it works this time. Bricks we don't need. 
and now we can continue following that path up here. There it is. Let's get cracking. As we can see, there is now a path in the snow. And we actually can pick something up. Some logs that we can then read. And we can follow these. And here we continue then in the next episode. And hopefully finding that very strange husband of hers. Stay tuned.